We've seen a lot of changes in tea in the past few years, uh, especially with uh, store brands, private label tea. Uh, we have, it's gone from something that looks more like this to formats that look more like this. And the question that raises a lot of questions. Some of those questions are, you know, what are the drivers of this change in, in tea? Uh, what's happening within the tea industry? Uh, the capabilities there, the production there. Um, and what's happening with consumers, their, what's changing in their hearts, their minds, and their expectations regarding tea. Uh, it also raises questions like, what, uh, why private label? Uh, what is happening with the national brands that you've seen this spike in so many uh, grocery stores, uh, coffee shops, and others who are bringing their own name to their own tea just to reach out to their and hold and capture their, their set of uh, customers and tea lovers. Um, so we're going to be looking at that. We're also going to be looking at how can your business respond to these, these changes. What does it mean in terms of uh, private label? What does it mean in terms of tea retail? What does it mean in terms of online business as well? Uh, join me. I'm Jason Walker at, Walk at, uh, at World Tea Expo. We're going to be talking about bucking retail trends in private label tea. Uh, this is going to be looking at things like what are the the flavor issues that are involved. What uh, what lines of teas seem to be doing strong or stronger or weaker? Uh, what do we see in terms of formats, packaging that seem to really capture that uh, those those needs and those desires best? Again, Jason Walker, World Tea Expo, June twelfth, twenty nineteen.